When you start making your social media content, you wind up having a lot of files and you want to be able to access those files easily, those images, those videos, and the copy that goes with it. So that way you can repurpose it and reuse it at other times. And so you want to make sure you have a really good system for doing that. I've tried a bunch of different systems. This one isn't foolproof. Everyone has their own way that works well with their team and their company and whatever software they're using and stuff like that. But this is really simple, really free. I've used this with different um, kinds of, I've, I've done this with different kinds of companies, small businesses, bigger businesses, with a team of people, all of that kind of stuff. And this has worked really, really well. I do also just want to say a quick thing, which is I highly, highly, highly recommend that you create your content in batches. So sit down one day and make a bunch of different social media posts and schedule them. Um, when we do content strategy stuff, I explain to you what kind of posts to make um, and what formats they should be they should be in. Uh, depending on the platform and depending on your audience and all of that kind of stuff. We're not going to get into that, but I am just going to highly recommend that in, in lieu of saying, oh, well, I'll just kind of do it a little bit every day and I'll just like post something that day. That is going to work for a very finite amount of time. But eventually, life is going to catch up to you. You're going to get really busy. Something is going to happen. You know, a global pandemic. Things happen. And so you want to have a good bank of content that you can rely on that is either scheduled to go out already between, you know, Facebook's content creator scheduler, which allows you to schedule posts for Facebook pages, Facebook groups, and Instagram or you can use a tool like Hootsuite or Buffer or my favorite, Meet Edgar. But whatever it is, you're still gonna need to have all those files readily available. So here's the system that I have found that works really, really well. So I'm going to um, show you my screen. Okay, so this is just a Google Drive, right? So you could use a free Google Drive if you're using Google with your, uh, with your domain name and like a Google Workspace kind of a situation, either way. But um, so I have the name of the brand that I'm like the project that I'm creating the content for here. And then here's a little trick that I read about in a book a long time ago, which is to whatever you need to get to fast. Um, if there's only one or two of them, put a little asterisk, asterisk in front of it because that's going to automatically get it to the top. Right. So this is social media content. I click on that and then again, I talk about um, content statements that you create. And so for example, we talk about I believe statements. So then these are the kinds of posts that fall into that category. And then there's other categories sort of from there. Again, we talk about this a lot in the content strategy, but um, I wanna point out that here, you can see that I've got the name of it and sometimes what I'll even do is I'll rename it. So this is a video, um, but I may even name it so that way I put what platform it could be on. So if this is a video that would work on Facebook, it would work on Instagram, it would work on YouTube, it would work on IGTV, right? I put those little um, abbreviations afterwards so that way I know at a glance exactly where it could go. This doesn't have that, which means it's probably just the raw footage. Um, so I'm gonna put okay here. Then what I really like to do is to use the copy here and um, where it says to add a description, I'll type in what the copy is that I've used for that social media post or that I wanna use for that social media post. So that way it's always easier. So um, what do you think is the difference between good and great marketing because that's what this video is about um here are three uh observations i've made okay um and maybe i might put an emoji in there so i'm gonna add an emoji just with the number three. Oh, there it is already boom 
And so now that is saved, so that way when I go to access that file, I've got it right there. Hopefully this will be easy for you. You can also then of course share the folder with other people who are on your team. If you need to get approvals from people, you can get approvals from people. Um, you can even put the hashtags in the description there if you're using it for Instagram or another platform where you're gonna wanna copy and paste the hashtags as well. So all of that you have there, so when it's time to actually schedule those posts your, or, or just to, um, to post them up, you've already got the copy and you have the file, you've got the file named. It's really easy for you to find in the future. So that's a little quick description for you. I uh, hope this was helpful and um, I'll see you continuing on.